gosh, I gotta switch these off one more time. Uh, what does CM stand for? Uh, checkmate, it's my sponsor. Checkmate? Yeah. Okay, where, where, where? Um, actually, like, some of the coolest, like, people I've ever met in my life. Really? Yeah, Rook is, like, super nice, super supportive. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he's really nice, he's so supportive, and just, like, I don't, he, he's just a really nice person in general. Okay, word. Like, like outside of Checkmate, inside of Checkmate, he's just super supportive and super nice. Uh, were you born in Arizona? I was born in Arizona, yes. Word. Where, uh, what city were you born in? Uh, Phoenix. Hey, I was born in Mesa. Yeah, nice, nice, nice to see actual, like, Arizona natives. Because um, I wasn't in the Smash scene when I was, like, back in Arizona. Yeah. So I was in Gilbert, like, making burritos at Chipotle and stuff. So yeah. that's different than actually being a part of the scene. Um, mm -hmm. Would you say that the Arizona scene has a big part as to how you developed as a Smash player? So, obviously, yes, because a lot of the scene, especially our main CEO, Stephen Shackleford, okay. uh, he's like, he, he's just been person that every single time I go out of state, you know, I come back, and regardless of how long it's been since he's seen me since that event, mm -hmm. you know, I, I won crown, I didn't go to the locals for like a week, I showed up to a local, and he's like, he'll give me, he's like, oh good shit, I'm so proud of you, you know, everything like that, he's super supportive, really? yes. Oh, okay, no, that's super duper fire, um, because I was, I was low-key surprised, uh, so when everybody from the Inland Empire, they went out to Ascension, mm -hmm. you know, um, I was kind of surprised to see everybody there, like, as calmly as they were, uh, obviously, you have Chase in chat, feel free to say hi if you want to also middle Yo, finger him. what's good, Chase? Yeah, you know, good looking, being being cordial, but, you know, it, it was kind of mean. Uh, what, what place did you uh, end up taking at Ascension? Well, the most, re like, the Ascensions that SoCal has been coming to, I've gone, like, fourth, fifth, not, or seventh, uh, stuff like that, but that's mainly just because, like, I, I started taking Ascensions as just, yeah. like, a... Because the, the thing with me and Ascension is that, like, until, like, Ascension, oh, not 11, I think Ascension 9, I won every, basically every single Ascension until then. Word. And so, so you were the gatekeeper, kind yeah, of. Yeah, at that point, I officially, like, solidified myself as the best in Arizona. It's been that way for a little bit. But, like, I, I started having people come out, and, you know, I, I started realizing that at, at, these, other, at these other Ascensions, mm -hmm. whenever I'm just beating people, everyone else doesn't get a chance to play the out of staters. So it's, like... Whenever I lose, it's whatever. It makes everyone else motivated because they're like, oh, Schroeder. A big issue with my region is mm -hmm. that they'll kind of just like look at me in brackets and just be like, okay, well, I can't win. Like, next. Word, word, word. So whenever like, I lose to people from out of state, they're just like, oh, Schroeder like, is beatable. And like, they're showing us how we can do it. And uh, it, like, you see everyone. Uh, like Trump got fit today. He did super well. Yeah, he was playing insane in doubles. As really well. well. Yes. Really well. Uh, he's he lives like four minutes away from my house. Him and uh, Astol, who's number five on our PR right now. I think okay. no, he's number four. Okay. But he's he's top five in state, just like for sure, like legacy wise. Uh, and then you got everyone else. Riley's been improving a, a ton. Frost has been doing a lot of homework and like improving a ton. Word. And it's like it's starting to inspire me a little bit more to come back to the scene and get better. Because I, I've been out of the scene for like, I want to say like about four months, five months. I haven't been really going to locals. I've noticed that. Like, I, because I actually look for you in bracket because you're like my favorite Sora <laughs> in the world right now, without a doubt. And I think it's because I see other Soras and they just don't play to the extent of you understanding the character. Yeah. Especially like the Buzz. You also have Aaron that you're kind of kind of getting the character but yeah, there's like, no there's new there's no nuance and there's no enjoyment of the character when you play story it looks like oh yeah i enjoy this character yeah. which is why i figured out these things i i love i love kingdom hearts my entire family loves kingdom hearts so oh like, really yeah so it's like the okay. second that kingdom hearts got an, or not kingdom hearts that story got announced in smash i i like i was like sitting there i was like oh no like no yeah shot no, is what? no right? way yeah and then my entire family walks in they're like oh you sure you're playing this character right i'm like how do you guys know <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like, like Chase said, like the last one, it was my birthday one, so like I didn't give a fuck. I, I got drunk. Word, word, and I, and, and I still got like seven. Yeah, which is super duper impressive. So I didn't know what was going on in Ascension. I just kind of assumed like Schroeder is there, but it's also it was your birthday, right? Yeah. So that was literally, your birthday. Literally on the day of my birthday. Yeah. Right so there I, was no way that you were completely clocked in yeah. to a Smash tournament. Like on the, your birthday. the the day. I turned 21. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking drinking. Like, fuck, yeah. fuck, fuck, fuck the tournament. <laughs> I drank, I drank, I played all Sora, and I got yeah. like seven. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, and feel free to say on the mic so everybody has it for legal reasons. Uh, what did you think of the shot that you took? The incinerator shot. Yeah, the incinerator shot. The incinerator shot. shot was so good. It was fucking amazing. I would, I would take like four more right now if I could. Hey, bro, we would give you four more if it was legal to do after 11 p.m. But you know, we're. <laughs> We're easing our way through a uh, bracket and whatnot. So in terms of uh, 
<laughs> Going to this tournament, uh, obviously you got a chance to look at like the bracket and what it was set up to be. Uh, did you think that there was going to be anybody that was especially tough? So fun fact, I'm o uh, until that said, I was 0-4 versus Raza. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's why I popped off. Oh, no way. Yeah. Hey, yo, stop assuming, uh, <laughs> asserting dominance, thank you. He's got his titties in the in the in the in the in the, the thumbnail. Stop it. We appreciate you, Ark, though. Really? So yeah. So that was your first win on Razo in like a major tournament. Yeah. Oh, just wow. like a tournament in general, honestly. Okay. So it's like Razo's like kind of a kind of a demon for me because I don't really know what Peach does. Mm -hmm. And even though I'm like I've been playing with Mutes at majors, you know, trying to warm up for all these characters. Yeah. I still don't know what the fuck the character does. She's just flying around doing some Peter Pan shit. I don't know what's going on. You know what's crazy? So, uh, you're one of those characters and one of those players that when we see in bracket. It's going so many different characters that we assume it's disrespect. Yeah. When so, it's like so so the thing with Razo is what I figured out is he he gets going when he starts getting a read on my habits. Exactly. So if I keep switching my characters, I'm not gonna have the same habits, so he's not gonna get a read on them. Wow. So it was all it was all calculated. It wasn't for disrespect. Yeah. Oh wow. Well I I think he's gonna appreciate that looking back because I assumed that he probably thought we thought it was the exact no, same. I, the, the other times I played him, he, I've, I've done the same thing. It's like gone like game five, game three. So it's like he's used to me doing that. Word, but word. Not not to the extent of me like actually playing the characters I play. Damn. Because usually usually it's just some like dumb shit like Dr. Mario, Luigi, you know, stupid shit. Yeah, but try, just trying to figure out the matchup in general. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, in terms of you being a, a top player. Uh, out of Arizona because I think the pool of Arizona players is a little bit smaller than a lot of other states. You know, we don't know our, necessarily so who our your top players are. Our locals don't really get that much, mm -hmm. but our player, I don't want to say, our players aren't really that top heavy because, you know, some of our lower end players can like sometimes pop off and do shit. Of course. Uh, but except the only issue is that me and base are the only ones that travel. Are you both in Arizona? Yeah, base is in Tucson. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I thought he was uh, from Vegas. No, base is Tucson. Okay, that's dope. Okay. So, like, uh, Riley's starting to travel more, who's uh, Noor. Riley, uh, Riley started in bragging against BBC. I just think that that's funny, so my bad. Oh. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, Frost is starting to, I think he wants to travel more as well. Krub so, dragging along for everything. Yeah, Krub, uh, I'm pretty sure at some point he also said he wanted to travel a lot more. So it's just like, that, that's that's just three other big hitters that can actually just like fuck up shit out of state. That are just gonna start going to tournaments as well. Okay, and do you plan on going to more tournaments out of state as well? Uh, it's hard for me to say because I like the reason why I haven't been going to locals is because I lost motivation for the game mainly because Sora came out and I thought he was fucking ass, and I was like, I I have no reason to play this shit anymore. But I don't know. Uh, t today definitely changed a lot because it was it was nice hearing like the small group of AZ pop off for me. Like Riley, Riley, the second I beat Rosa came up and gave me a hug. You know, Frost heard about it, walked mm -hmm. up, he's like, oh, good shit. Yeah. You know, Krupp's, you know, popping off for me. Krupp and I, you know, we're teaming uh, your in boys. doubles. Yeah, 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 yeah boys. That's my dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, okay, so here's another question. Where do you think that Sora is in terms of the entire tier list? I think that Sora is, like, probably just a mid-tier until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> I like that's, that. that's fair. That's completely fair. You don't play him like a mid tier, and I, I have to say myself that you're one of you're probably the best Sora in all of the nation. I, I, I would assume. Aaron hear that. I would assume so. No, I'm gonna let uh, Aaron. The, Aaron. The, the Aaron. He's me? the best Sora. The Work the, harder. <laughs> <laughs> Work harder, bro. He's he's for sure the best Sora. Get get your shit together. Um, word. Um. Since you're on stream, uh, do you have anything to say in terms of like what your goals are or maybe what you want to accomplish in Smash a little bit later on in the year considering the tournaments are coming back in person? Uh, my goals as of right now is to just focus on like the people that I can actively see getting better in my scene and help them like get even further. Because mm -hmm. at this point, it, there's not very many people in AZ that are just like, oh, I'm going to go to a tournament. I'm going to learn as much as I can. I'm going to like play like people in friendlies. I'm going to, you know, play Frost in friendlies for like an hour, play this person in friendlies, try to learn this matchup, try to learn this, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It's more so they're going to locals and they're just like, I hope I beat someone today. Yeah. And then they leave just mad. Absolutely. And and, and that kind of sucks sometimes. For sure. <laughs> so uh, what I'm seeing more in terms of like tournaments and whatnot is them having yeah, like yeah. invited yeah. guests, Yeah. which is a thing, which is like, yo, we're going to pay for you to come out here, enjoy yourself, use your hotel room and everything. Just make sure that you have like your best play on you. Would you be uh, open to doing stuff like that in different states? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I love, so I, I personally just love traveling because mm -hmm. I have friends in just like basically every state. Yeah. 
Come on now, talk, you'll talk. So I, I, I just love traveling. I just love going to see new places. I love experiencing new weather, stuff like that. Like, it, it's just nice for me. Regardless if the tournament goes bad or not. Like, I, I got, like, 193rd at Big House. I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to go play the Rhythm of the Machines. There it is. <laughs> yeah, no, and it, come on, you you didn't win nor lose there. Because yeah. it's like, hey, I got I still got to, you know, do this. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I went to go play Groove Coaster because they had Groove Coaster at Big House. I went back to my nice. room. And then, like, I, fucking, I just realized, like, two seconds after, mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then, like, because I hear noise from the other side. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So, I, like, I knock on their door, fucking open up. Black Friends is in there. All of Canada. Hey, word. All of Canada's in there. Maestro's in there playing fucking Mario what? Party with everyone. Hey. Oh, no, that's fire. Yeah. As far as though. So, there's, there's, there's benefits to definitely traveling and going outside of, you know, what you're there, used to in AZ. There's too many memories to make. And just like you can't miss that opportunity. So you're open to traveling? Of course. Then I'm glad to hear it. Schroeder Ame. Mm -hmm. Ame? Schroeder Ame is your champion of Super Game Last Smash number three. Clap it up one time on mic. We want to hear it. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the Twitch chat before you leave? Hey, he got my Kazuya into Elite Smash at like 1 a.m. last this night. This is facts. Really? Yeah, he did. I need you to calm down on your electric. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Um, yeah, Schroeder Ame, is there anything else you'd like to say before we head off of uh, Twitch yet? Uh, shout out to Checkmate, shout out to the Arizona scene. Uh, like, I, everyone is also su like super supportive of me. And it's just like it's just nice to see. Absolutely, and, and you can also like you can catch me at other events. I'm pretty sure I'm like guaranteed going to LUA. I'm guaranteed going to Genesis, Low okay. Tide. Uh, there might be some other stuff on a free. Oh, Crown as well because I was the last Crown winner, so I, I have to go again. Absolutely. Talk your talk. Do you uh, stream regularly? Uh, sometimes my stream is just Schroeder S. It's Schroeder S. it's not Schroeder Ame instead of. It, it, you might as well just combine the two and then just re remove Ame and just add an S at the end of it. It's literally all it is. <laughs> um, Schroeder Ame, combine go ahead. Two, like one of them isn't just Schroeder. Do me a favor. Pick up your uh, pick up your your chain and 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 put it up to the camera like like you flexing on these mugs. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, that's the yeah yes, first. Sir. No games. Schroeder, thank you so much for interviewing with us. We appreciate you. Thank you. And guys uh, for everybody, me. give it up in uh, Twitch for the Super Game Lab champ of number three. Thank you so much.